We're in module 13, understanding the operation of radicals or roots. And today we're going to be working with variables. We did the other day numbers. We learned what a perfect square is, what a perfect cube is. We learned how to do a square root. We learned how to do a cube root of those numbers. We also learned that roots can be any size. Now we're going to do the same thing with variables. And we're going to just keep our discussion with square roots and cube roots of variables. So if you go to your class notes, I'm going to go to the board, we're going to walk through this. Okay. Here I have five examples, five expressions. I'm asking you to square root each of them. So we got to understand again, this symbol is a definition. A square root symbol means something times itself. A term times itself. If you multiply two of the same thing, you should get this answer. Well, you've been doing this all along, you just don't realize it. When I ask you the square root of x squared, I'm asking you, what letter times itself is x squared? And you would say it's x. If I ask you the square root of x to the fourth, what letter times itself is x to the fourth? And that is x squared. Because we all know x squared times x squared makes x to the fourth. When I ask you the square root of x to the sixth, what letter times itself is x to the sixth? And that is x cubed. x cubed times x cubed is x to the sixth. Because remember, first chapter, chapter 12, when you multiply variables, what do you do with exponents? You add them. So now look, I want you to see if you see a pattern, a rule going on here. How can we square root a variable quickly? Well, if you look, what we're doing with each of these exponents is we're cutting them in half. We're dividing them by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. That goes back to understanding definitions. If I made you work out the long way x to the 6th, you would physically have a square root symbol with six x's in it. So this represents x to the sixth. When I ask you to square root, I'm saying something times itself. I'm saying make groups of two. So do you agree this group and this group are exactly alike? Well, how many x's are here? Three. How many x's are here? Three. x cubed times x cubed is x to the sixth. And that's where you get this answer from. So we have a straight little rule we could do in our head. To square root a variable, you divide the exponent by two. Knowing that, what is the square root of x to the eighth? That would be x to the eighth divided by two is four. Now, if you look at this example in your notes, not only do we have a variable, we also have a number. How are they connected? Multiplication. So this is really two square root problems. I'm asking you to square root 100, and I'm asking you to square root y to the 20th. To square root a number, you have to go back to the perfect square list. Is 100 a perfect square? Yes, it is. What times itself is 100? 10. There's no work. That's a perfect square. You should know the answer. Now we're going to square root a variable, and we just learned to square root a variable, you divide the exponent by 2. If you had 20 y's, and you had to make two groups of those 20 y's, how many y's would be in each group? y to the 10th. So it's very easy to get confused, so you've got to pay close attention. If you're square rooting numbers, that's looking at the perfect square list. If you're square rooting variables, you divide the exponent in two. Now, if you look at your notes, we're not only going to do square roots, we're going to do cube roots. Cube roots mean to multiply something the same times 3. So we're going to multiply something 3 times. So when I ask you the cube root of x to the cubed, I'm asking, what letter did you multiply 3 times to give you x cubed? And we all know that's x. x times x times x is x cubed. What letter did you multiply 3 times to give you x to the 6? That's x squared. If you don't believe me, x squared times x squared times x squared 2, 4, 6. What variable did you multiply 3 times to give you x to the ninth? That's x cubed. So there's a pattern going on here, a rule. When you do a cube root of a variable, what are you doing to the exponents? 
Well, you're not dividing them by two because cube root means making groups of three. So to do a cube root of a variable, you're taking the exponent and you're dividing it by three. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is two. Nine divided by three is three. I'll prove it to you. Again, if you had x to the sixth, that's what you would have. If I ask you to do a cube root of that, I'm saying make groups of three. There's groups of three. And each group is an x times an x, which is an x squared. So that's what you're physically doing. So the rule is real simple. To cube root a variable, you divide the exponent by 3. So what's the cube root of x to the 12th? Well, that's just x to the 4th. Check yourself. x to the 4th times x to the 4th times x to the 4th would be x to the 12th. Now, this last example, we're cube rooting a number and a variable. They are side by side connected by multiplication, so we break it up into two symbols. It is very important when we're working cube roots, you write the index of 3, so I know you're cube rooting. There's no work here. This is on the perfect cube list. What number times itself would give you negative 27? Well, a negative times a negative times a negative would make a negative. And what number do you multiply 3 times to give you 27? 3. This is a variable. So the rule is to cube root a variable, you divide the exponent by 3. If you had 21 y's, and you had to make three groups of them. In each group, there would be seven y's. So the important thing in this lesson is to understand, if you can square and cube root numbers, you could square and cube root variables. You just have to learn your rules. To square root variables, square root means making groups of two. You divide the exponent by two. Cube rooting variables means to make groups of three. You divide the exponent by three. See you on the next video. Thank you.